Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today I'm gonna do a video where I'll show you exactly how to create your custom watch face for Fitbit Versa and Ionic with zero coding skill. Yes, zero coding, coding skill. And to top it up, you can even sell and earn money from your own custom created watch face. So without further ado, let's get into it. If it is your first time onto our channel, please make sure you subscribe to our channel. We do a lot of videos about Fitbit Versa, uh, reviews for various tech, tech and cooking. Uh, and if you are here because of Fitbit Versa, I would bet you won't regret checking out our Fitbit Versa playlist which is exclusively for Fitbit Versa and we have 41 plus videos in it. Uh, so check it out. It is gonna be a bit long video because I wanna show you guys every single thing. So stay tuned till the end. So here I am on my watch and my Android phone. As you can see this is the watch face which I have created. <coughs> Sorry from the from 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 this particular watch face. And I'm gonna show you today exactly how to do that. Uh, Fitbit is an uh, open source, so a lot of uh, developers would jump in and do kind of this stuff. Uh, and this particular uh, developer has created a unique interface where anyone can come in, design uh, their custom watch face with zero coding skill and even sell it. And that's pretty awesome. So the step number one to do that is you go on to your Fitbit uh, app of your Android device um, and then on the top right you click on to the Fitbit uh, um, watch and then you will see clock face in the clock face you go into all clocks and type the keyword fit face um, fit face and once you do that this two watch face will come up uh, it may be a bit more but for now it's just two and you just select the next one uh, which says uh, create your own uh, watch face without a line of code and that's true so once you do that uh, go ahead and install it which is step number one uh, once done um, you go into uh, the clock face of my versa and you will see the current clock clock face which is applied onto your versa you click here and now comes the step number two which is you go in the setting and the step number two is you have to actually create an account with uh, FitFace. You, if you are new, then you create uh, an account by clicking on to new to FitFace. I have already done that. Uh, once you do it, uh, enter in your email and uh, password. Once done, you hit connect and it's gonna connect to uh, their online server. And where you have two options, my design are the designs which I have created. So if I click here, you can see these two are the one which I have created. Uh, and the next option was the favorite one. All right, so it went out. Let me click in the setting. And if you go in the my favorite, these are the favorite which I have downloaded from the gallery, which I'm gonna show you in a minute. All right, so now that being said, step number two is done. Uh, step number three is actually creating your uh, own watch face. Uh, for that, you have to go to their website. Uh, it's written right here, fitface.xyz. Um, you can access this website from a mobile uh, browser as well, which I'm gonna show you now. Uh, I have already opened the website, uh, which is fitface.xyz, and I have logged in with the login credentials, and this is the interface. But the problem with the uh, mobile browser is you cannot create a custom um, clock face over here so if I were to hit this create a new clock face and let's just say uh, select a template digital and create you know what it's gonna say sorry the editor is only available on desktop so you have to go uh, on to your desktop computer or a laptop uh, to actually create an amazing clock face uh, like this but since I'm here on the mobile browser, I'm gonna show you what you can do from here. Uh, you can actually purchase, uh, you can actually see the purchases um, you have made. Uh, you can actually um, see your account information. Uh, and uh, the one thing I wanted to show is, um, you can go in the gallery. Right now we are on clock face, but you can actually go in the gallery. And in the gallery, you will see all this clock face uh, for Ionic and Versa. And from here, uh, you can just select whichever one you want and add it onto uh, the My Favorite, which I showed you earlier. So uh, 
you can see their prices are up here most of them are free uh, some of them would be paid uh, so you can even purchase it from a mobile browser um, you can see these two are my created uh, watch faces uh, this one is free so you can you are free to download this this one I have just put in a charge of 0.50 cent uh, so let's say if you were to select this you can uh, check the description from here uh, you can share it and you can add it to your favorite by clicking on to this so that's it in terms of the mobile browser now I'm gonna switch on the camera to my uh, desktop browser and I'm gonna quickly show you how to create a custom watch face Alright guys, so here I am on my desktop computer. Uh, the two difference I would say between desktop and mobile computer is you can actually differentiate between Icon and Versa which you weren't able to do it on the mobile browser, especially in the gallery section because you don't want to browse through all the clock face if you just want a Versa clock face. And then you can just do the same thing as I showed you earlier. Alright, and the second difference is you can actually create a clock face from here. Uh, before doing that, I would like you guys to click on this help icon. A new page will open. On the left hand side, there are all the guides which you can go through. But I usually like to keep the tags uh, section open because there are a lot of short codes right here which you'll need to the de design part. So for example, there is this code for uh, rotation smooth value for hour. We'll talk about that later. So let's go back on to here and click on to the new clock face. You can name it whatever you want. Want. in this case I'll put custom I'm creating it for Versa and then you get three options for template analog digital and frame if I go in all these three it's gonna take maybe half an hour to do the video for just now you can definitely go ahead and play with any of these and just do what you have to do but for now I'm just doing the digital one so once you hit digital and you hit create a basic clock face will be created and this is how it looks all right now the background is the bottom layer it's just like using a photoshop uh, you have to make sure that you check the layers right here and you can add a new layer by clicking on to here so let's say the background you can change to change the color to whatever you want uh, there are prefix colors right here or you can actually play around to whatever you want i'll just select red in this case so that has been applied now all right now let's say if i were to add an image on top of this layer uh, then you click this and then you get all these elements like line, rectangle, circle, arc, text, image, gradient and group. I'm not going to talk in depth about all this because it's just you, you guys play around and figure out what you have to do. Uh, I am going to do another detailed uh, video where I'm going to show you guys how to create a really awesome looking uh, watch face. That's going to be a long one but later on. For now let's hit this image and this thing will open you choose image you click the choose image option and you will see all this um, image which I have created let's select this one for now I have used this in one of my watch face uh, once you create open the image will be applied now it must be a dot PNG portable na network graphic file and 400 by 400 pixel can't be more than that it can be a, a bit lower than that but at least 400 by 400 for background once you have applied this you can change the position rotation opacity and change the grayscale and stuff like that uh, for now I would not keep the image but as soon as you keep the image you can see it goes right on top so uh, you can't see any text because the image layer is on top you have to drag it all the way down and now you can see all the text over there I usually like to organize my design so I would name it as background so that I know that this is the background but for now I'm gonna delete this and to delete a layer what you do is you hit this arrow right here duplicate and delete I'll talk about duplicate later but you can delete it from here and there you go it's gone All right now the layer on top as soon as I hover on it you can see uh, a dotted line around the time now you can name it it just says text I usually like to organize and I'll keep it time uh, this is the view uh, view icon you click this and it disappears you click it and it appears this is the lock icon uh, and once you hit that then you get two options duplicate and uh, delete all right so in the time here's the important part you can change the x position which is this and y position which is this and then the time uh, and then the size so let's play around here 
and decrease the font size to maybe 90 or maybe a bit uh, less 80 all right now it says uh, there is this code right here and semicolon but it's just hour and minute now let's say if i were to add the code for a second so again that's why as i said earlier you need this page open so keep this page open now we are gonna find the code for time which uh, second which is uh, which is this second and minute leading with zero so let's copy this code and paste it right beside this uh, but I'll put a semicolon as soon as I add semicolon you can see it's right there and then I'll add the second and there you go the second comes up but this is too big and it's popping out of the border so I'm gonna decrease the size to yeah 50 that seems right then you can change the font to whatever you want you can change the color opacity alignment and case and stuff like that uh, you can even create an effect right here so I'm gonna show you how to create a basic effect you duplicate this layer the layer goes on top you drag it down all the way to the bottom and I'll name it bottom all right now what I'm gonna do is in this layer I'm gonna change it the color to uh, black and you'll see what I mean by that uh, once I go there I'm gonna change the uh, position to 56 and the Y position to maybe uh, 56 all right that's a bit too much so 52 and 52 and you can see there is like a shadow effect over there and and the code is just just about the same it's just i have created a duplicate layer and put it underneath and just change the position so the effect would lead, look seamless uh, which you will see at the end all right so that's one thing now the next text is for uh, day um, which i will name it as day you can change the color and whatever and then the next one is for uh, date and i'll name it date and this rectangle uh, you can't see it because it's not uh, uh, it's actually an animation right here so now you can see that uh, and that's the rectangle you can hide it uh, but you can even change uh, there is a, a, a short code right here uh, which is basically the second and uh, out of 60 it can, it can change the position over there we will not go in depth about that we'll talk in the next video but you can change the color that's what I wanted to talk let's make it black all right and you can apply the same effect as I did for the text over there as well so now it, it seems like it's ready and I'm gonna hit play to see how it looks and it looks perfect once you feel that it's ready to go you hit the button save right here and it says watch face saved now to find where it's saved you click your uh, icon right here and go into the clock face and then you will see the custom one right here all right now you get three options you can duplicate if you have to create a new one from scratch from using that as a template you can duplicate you can delete the clock face from here and you can actually publish so once you hit publish there you go here's where you can make money from watch face now i'm gonna name it as red you can name it to whatever you want you can add a price tag over there most of the fitbit versa apps and watch face are uh, under two dollar so don't go ahead and keep 10 or 15 just make it realistic in this case i'm gonna make it 25 i nobody's gonna purchase this for 25 cents so in this case i'm gonna put it zero you can change the currency uh but in my case it's dollar and then once you hit publish it goes live all right if you don't publish it and let's say you just keep it here you can still use this but as i showed you earlier it'll be in your creation section rather than the favorite ones uh, because the favorite ones are the ones which you download or get it from the gallery uh, but i'm not publishing it i'm just i'll just keep it right there now to end this video i'm gonna show you where actually can you see if you made any sale or not so to do that you click on this icon right here and go into the settings where you can see all your details right there you will need a paypal account which i have already over here uh, if you don't have a paypal account go on to paypal and create an account and put it right there uh, and then you can see on the bottom uh, the statistics uh, of uh, payments where i have sold zero clock face uh, if you made a sale it will come up here and the balance and total paid amount they uh, once you reach a payment threshold they will pay it out via paypal so that's pretty much it i really hope you guys like this video uh, please give this video a thumbs up and share it as much as you can um, make sure you subscribe to my channel and i'm gonna see you guys in the next video till then take care mm -hmm.